Hi, I'm Lindsay, and I have good news. The federal government has approved two stimulus bills for funding to support schools. They are the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security, or CARES Act, and the Coronavirus Response and Relief Supplemental Appropriations Act, or CRRSA. The CARES Act has contributed about $13 billion specifically to K-12 education, and the CRRSA Act added about $54 billion for K-12 through the Elementary and Secondary Education Relief Fund, or ESSER. While some money went to other funds that may help schools, such as the Governor's Emergency Education Relief Fund, or GEAR, ESSER is the largest. It is also unique in what it is awarded directly to districts from states based upon a federal Title I funding formula. So how long is the funding available? Both laws are intended to provide emergency relief, so the period of availability is rather short. CARES Act funds awarded to district must be used by September 2022 and CRRSA funds are available until September 2023. Because the relief funding is part of federal legislation, there are also limitations on how it could be spent. The good news is that the allowable uses are pretty broad. Generally speaking, ESSER funds awarded to districts are intended for anything that supports the safe reopening of schools, advances in equity, and aids in effective teaching and learning. Both laws state that any activity authorized by the Elementary and Secondary Education Act and the Every Student Succeeds Act is an allowable use of relief funding. But it's important to remember, the funds are only available for a short time. So now is the time for district leaders to carefully allot funding to programs that are supported by research to ensure that the money will produce restored student learning outcomes. For easy access to that information, please see our blog link, Restoring Student Learning, What Works and What Doesn't. It's important to inform your decision makers that adding typically untrained instructional aids and remediation are not answers to restoring student learning. Research findings show that teacher aids have little, if any, positive effects on students' academic achievement, with the one exception being students who were in classrooms with an aid for two to three years. Remediation only creates a vicious cycle of repeated review of below grade level concepts, never giving students sufficient opportunity to demonstrate grade level mastery. As a result, students fall further and further behind their peers. Your educational leaders need to be informed that to ensure that we are successful in making up for lost instructional time, that we must use two primary research-based strategies, acceleration and intervention. Acceleration teaches grade-level material, weaving in periodic stopping points to address small missing pieces in fundamental understanding before returning to the original skill. Learning acceleration is an approach that gives students laser-focused instruction on the specific skills and content that they need in order to learn new grade-level material. Intervention is a formal process for helping students who are struggling using research-based instructional approaches focused on specific skills where progress is regularly tracked. Writing by design is the essential tool needed to apply these strategies. Because each writing by design lesson presents information in achievable chunks, all students can access and experience success with grade level instruction. Writing by Design's optional video lessons allow students at any level to progress at their own pace with opportunities for students to accelerate their own learning. With online assessments, teachers and students receive immediate feedback about skill acquisition, allowing teachers to target individual or small group intervention. 
It's important that educators consider the funds available now and how they can best be used to support student growth.